Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are starting off the 100 days project. Woo! This is my very first uh, drawing which will be a line art drawing piece and it's something a little different to what I've been doing recently. I just wanted to have fun and do something a little different, something that had been in my head that I just wanted to to do to start off the project and yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Um, if you don't know, the 100 days project is a New Zealand made project. It's kind of like a 30 day challenge except it's a bit more extreme. Um, and it runs here in New Zealand but it's online so anyone from around the world can join it. And they usually have these um, every six months I think. Um, so this one is running from May the 22nd to August the 28th and oh uh, 29th sorry and that is 100 days. So <laughs> I am looking forward to it um, because I, I love doing these challenges and I'm not very good at keeping to it but this time I've got a really good plan and I've kind of been doing these YouTube um, videos consistently for about a month so I'm pretty confident that I can sort of push some awesome stuff for you guys out which means it's going to be a video every single day fingers crossed that might change in a month we'll see how we go but basically a video every single day just a quick one to show you guys um, a little bit of vector art that I've done as for my usual videos um, these will obviously replace my speed draw videos and I will probably put up a vloggy type video every month Ah, sorry, <laughs> once a week. Um, I've got my monthly one coming up soon. I'm just waiting for a few bits and pieces so I can f um, film the final bits for you guys. Um, and I'll have my winter lookbook. Actually, they'll be coming up really soon. Um, so I'm going to start planning that and hopefully find some snow for you guys. Um, if I'm lucky and it snows here in the city, then I'll do some filming on that day. But um, my fingers are not crossed because I don't really see the point because it never snows here. <laughs> I moved up from a very small town um, called Invercargill and it, you'd think that um, coming from uh, a really, well, in New Zealand the south is really cold basically and I come from probably the most southern city in New Zealand and it doesn't snow there because it's too close to the coast and it's not far enough inland which is basically the story with most cities in New Zealand I think um so they it doesn't snow um in the city so much which is really sad because i really like the snow anyways <laughs> small small uh small introduction to myself if you're just joining so uh what am i working on what am i working on i'm working on the line art so this one is just um so this particular video is just the line art of this piece it's gonna be a bit messy um, with the the vector art on top of my drawing, which is a really messy drawing, by the way. Um, so, uh, but you will see later on that it once it's all cleared up, you can sort of see more of the image. I did draw her sailor hood plus her bow initially, but um, I didn't end up putting it on the final piece because I thought that the the head was kind of quite detailed so I didn't really want to add to it too much although thinking about it now I probably could have done it and it would have looked okay um but I'm really happy with it overall it's just the style that I had in my head and it was just like an image that I kept thinking of and I just wanted to get down on paper and it literally took me two minutes to draw this thing and then it took me I think about 30 to 40 minutes to do the line art and then I colored it in uh, which will need to be the next part and it took me around about two to three hours um, Only because I got really picky, but that's actually pretty good. I did take breaks in between so maybe it might have been two hours all up um, I could just look at the footage actually <laughs> um, Yeah, but I'm I'm really happy with the way it turns out especially love the line art um, I did uh, I did a try a few different things and I kind of cheated a bit of the line art um, so ideally with these you want to well, not really. There's kind of no right or wrong way to do these. Uh, but ideally, you kind of want the line art to be uh, uh, just lines. You don't want it to be filled with color. And you'll see what I mean a little bit later on when we um, fill in her fringe. Oh, now we're just fixing up the eyes because they were awful, awful, awful. <laughs> and just fixing up the placement now that I've got rid of the draft drawing. And yeah, you can see how... Uh, everything's really overlapping and it's quite messy and things and basically to get rid of all of those uh, lines that we don't need I essentially fill everything with white um, or a color uh, which means that if you place this image onto a transparent background you would see all of those white uh, 
fills, I guess you could say. Uh, which you kind of don't want. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but um, it just means that you can't... Basically, this image doesn't work as a line art only piece. Um, I, yeah, yeah, pretty much. It doesn't work as a line art only. So ideally, so you can see here, I'm just kind of filling in that wee gap where everything doesn't quite fill in and it's just literally a filled in block um, shape that just kind of, um, and then just, yeah, so it fills in all those spaces as you can see I'm doing now. And then we've just fixed up the fringe so that the right things are on top and stuff like that. I was going to start coloring in and I thought maybe I could just do this one as um, just really basic colors, but I only wanted to show you guys how the line art um, is really nice by itself. You don't really need color. Um, and even you can make the line art here in Illustrator and then you can take it into Photoshop and if you put it on a multiply layer at the very top of your layers in Photoshop, you can um, color it in however you like, I guess, <laughs> if you didn't want to do it in um, Illustrator. But I love doing it in, vector, um, in Illustrator sorry, as a vector because it's so much more versatile than a raster, which is what Photoshop is. Random design stuff. I don't even know if you care about this, but it's interesting to know. Uh, so, yeah, there's not much to say about this piece. I'm not actually a huge Sailor Moon fan, to be honest. Um, I, I obviously have seen Sailor Moon and I watched a little bit as a kid, but I mostly missed that hype because I was a little bit too young and uh, it had already... It was only showing here in New Zealand on Cartoon Network, which is um, like a paid, paid channel. I don't know what you call paid subscription channel um, with the Sky Network, basically. Um, so I never really got to watch it, but I was a huge fan of Kaikipta Sakura. And trust me, in this 100 days project, there'll be heaps of Kaikipta Sakura because she is my fallback if I cannot think of what to draw. Um, but Sailor Moon is just fun, and I, I like the, uh, the whole idea that, um, I mean, there's a lot of fan art of, more modern fan art of, um, Sailor Moon and her, her posse, <laughs> um, kind of all beaten up and a bit more rugged and trying to put them into modern environments and giving them this kind of cool vibe and things, and I, I really like that, um, idea and, um, I kind of brought this in, that into this piece. Um, I probably could have done it a lot more. I could have had flyaways in her hair, but, um, I kind of like just having the, the plaster in the nose and a bit of scratches on her face, which you'll see later on. Um, just to, to give her a bit of, yeah, a bit of fun. And I think she's a fun character. I mean, she's a crybaby, but <laughs> I think the whole idea of Sailor Moon is, is, is supposed to be fun and, um, it's about girl power and, um, I guess it's all Mahal Shoujo, which is, uh, sorry, Magical Girl, uh, anime is all like that, where it's, it's all about girl power and, um, finding yourself, and I think a lot of girls, uh, definitely relate to these shows, especially ones that grew up in the 90s, and they're all kind of finding their feet now, I think a lot of, especially a lot of artists, they definitely look back to these, um, to Sailor Moon and Kakeba Sakura and all the, the shows I used to watch as a kid to bring back um, sort of nostalgia and it helps them to to remember where they came from or what inspired them. For me especially a lot of anime inspired me to draw and that's kind of where I am today so um, I definitely pay tribute or I definitely pay my respects to those classic um, anime shows that I watched when I was little. Um, and they still kind of stick with me today. So it's really interesting how that kind of happens. So I think we're getting close to the end now. And there's a bit of detailing to do. I really liked the thick outlines that I did. I wasn't sure whether or not to make everything thick. So I went on the theory that on the outside, everything was really um, thick. <laughs> the, I say thick, but it's only like two point as opposed to one point. Um, uh, on the outside and then... On the inside, everything well, everything that's within those thick lines is quite um, normal or, or less so. Um, but it did look a little unbalanced in places, and I did want to do more uh, thicker lines, but I think I'm happy with the way it turned out. You, I mean, I didn't exactly stick to that theory because obviously her friend is quite thick, but it actually works out better that way, otherwise it looked a bit thin and everything was starting to blend in, I guess. Um, I absolutely love her eyes. Her eyes are my favorite. And um, 
yeah, this part was really tricky, was getting these bloody, I don't even know what you call them, twin tails, I guess, getting them to work, um, and getting the lines to not mess with each other and things. So what I ended up doing, I think, um, you'll see when I start to do the other one, um, which I shouldn't have done, I should have done it first, was actually um, taper it off first and then do the outline, but I didn't do that because um, I wasn't thinking about that at the time. Um, but yeah, man, I'm fixing this up a lot, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I, I could have done the bow and the sailor hood there, but I didn't. So yeah, as you can see here, I, I just duplicated it and got the outside line and made it two, uh, point, uh, two points thickness and then just mix, uh, fixed everything into place. And then I tampered down the bottom, which was silly because I should have done that first because now you can see I've got to fix both uh, versions, the, out, the outline and the sort of inner shape, I guess you could say, um, which will come in later when I color it in. Yeah, and I, oh, I just absolutely love this piece. And you'll, I really, really like the way I colored it as well, which I am looking forward to showing you guys tomorrow. But yeah, so we're just doing finishing chapter touches. <laughs> and then I'll show you guys some screenshots of it and you can kind of see how it all comes together. So thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to watch my whole 100 days um, unfold before your eyes. Um, and uh, go follow my Instagram if you want to see these um, as they come out. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!